So have you ever wondered what happens after you kill all those zombies, all the blood on the ground, all the body parts all over the place? What happens, you know? Yes, they do disappear, but what if time freezes and a very small little crew comes in and cleans up after you? That is exactly what we have today. You guys are looking at... I can't really pronounce it, Viscaros or Viscasios. I'm not looking at it right now, I'm going off memory. Uh, it's a cleanup detail. So basically, what you do in this entire game is clean up messes that other people has made. Basically, the idea is like, take a Doom, for example, or anything that's just high in violence, zombies, possibly, and whenever you play, there's body parts left over, there's stuff on the ceiling, there's stuff on the ground, and someone's got to go through there and clean it up. That's what this game is. All you do is clean up blood, acid, more blood, body parts, stuff that people left on the ground, ammo, shotgun shells, all kinds of things that are inside of this game. And I haven't really played too much, only this first level right here. And it's pretty crazy. I like it a lot. Uh, it's definitely not one of those games you come back to all the time. But nonetheless, it's fun. You know, you pick up body parts and especially for someone like me that just plays zombies a lot. Whenever you see this and just understand the humor that this game has and it actually is kind of challenging. You know, you step in blood, you track the blood, then you got to clean that up. Then you got to get your teammate to clean you up. Then you got to rinse off your mop. You can't use the same water. You got to go back and get water. Uh, we threw a lot of buckets in the main water and I think we got like a, a 59 for that. And our only thing was um, we did not uh, burn all of the body parts. We didn't burn everything. Uh, we kind of threw some stuff in the water. Some stuff we did burn. Actually, a lot of stuff we burned. But there's just masses, massive and massive amounts of buckets in the water. Super fun. So think about that. Next time you, uh, you're you deciding to play a little bit of zombies, who's going to have to go by and clean it up? It could be you, or it could just be a very small crew that's coming through cleaning it all up. Or, you know, it could just despawn the way it really does. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of fun Steam game. I got it for real cheap on G2A.com. Use code AWO for 10% off. Just kidding. I don't have that yet. But what I do have is Fatal Grips. 10% off at Fatal Grips. Pick you guys up something. They got really cool things. Like I said, if you're a person that slips around in the controllers and you, um, you always are either dropping or you're just your palms are sweaty... Definitely, definitely, definitely get a full controller grip. That's what I ordered. It's in the mail. It's coming to me. Super good stuff. I think I might even get a little bit of um, some thumbstick caps. Those things look amazing. They even have some that glow in the dark, and I love glow in the dark stuff. Here recently, I just got a shaker from G Fuel that glows in the dark, plus a little G Fuel. Uh, watermelon and blue ice got two bill tubs of that and got two glow-in-the-dark shakers really that's the only reason why I bought two is I could have two glow-in-the-dark shakers and I know you're like whoa 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 you could have paid 10 bucks and got a shaker but the deal was too great use code Keem I think it's over now and you got 40% off so is I literally saved from both orders about $60 I mean that's crazy I think I don't know I let me think it was like, mm, no, it's it's more like $40, $50. So definitely some good deals. Check them out if you want to. Hope you guys enjoy this. A little bit different. Peace.